I first came to this village about four years ago, got to know some of the characters that live here and became friends with them as well. And um, I'm going to warn you now, some of the stuff that you're going to see here might seem a little bit odd. It kind of is odd. There's nowhere else in the world that I've seen that is quite like this village. But also, there's nowhere where the relationship with snakes is as strong. Come on in and meet the guys. Sawadee kab, sawadee kab. Hey, hello, hello, hello. The people living here are surrounded by snakes. They've grown up with them and as such know all about the dangers and more importantly, how to handle them. There are hundreds of snakes here, like this baby Burmese python, which these kids look after. Oh, wow. Over the years, this village has become well known as a snake hotspot, and tourists right. come here to catch okay. a glimpse of snakes, both constrictors like this one and highly venomous ones. But before we meet the king of those snakes, I'm getting introduced to one of his close cousins. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, now this is a whole different ball game. Cobra. Yeah, this, this is a, uh, a monocle cobra. This is potentially one of the most dangerous snakes you will see anywhere in the world. You can see it's big, it's a heavy bodied snake, and it has a very, very potent venom. Right, I'm going to try and take. Oh, that was close. You can see how well Boyle knows the snake, though. He has absolute, complete confidence about how far it can strike. Look what he's doing with his knee. That movement is catching the cobra's eye, and that's what's making it get up and look big and aggressive. Look at him. I've actually got a bit of a bead on. I'm sweating a fair bit. OK, now that might seem like total insanity, but the truth is this cobra's fangs are on the upper jaw, pointed down like this and fixed. This snake can only strike coming downwards. So coming down on the top of its head like that, it's actually physically impossible for the cobra to bite Boerly. Even so, that's some serious confidence. 